speech. Top that. Try to choke down my tears. <laughs> <laughs> End of mine. Um, I, it just has not sunk in yet that this is my black belt graduation speech. I always knew this day would come, but I would never anticipate how quickly it would arrive. In fact, my past 11 years of training have gone by in what seems the blink of an eye. I started when I was six, and I'm 17 now. Um, I started karate um, at Sensei Bean's Black Hat Kempo in New Jersey, and my parents um, enrolled me because they saw my painful shyness and my tense shoulders and my awkwardness. They thought karate would help. I mean, I'm still a little awkward, but this is done some things. Um, I loved it in my dojo and was devastated when I had to leave. But thankfully, my parents quickly, the, one of the first things they did was enroll me in a new school. And that's how I knew that karate was here to stay, that even though everything else was changing in my life, karate was one of the only constant things. And that's how I knew it was always going to be a major part of my life for the rest of my life. And um, unfortunately, the first dojo was a downgrade. And my parents are looking for another dojo. And thankfully, they stumbled across traditional Karate America. And I was just awestruck by what I saw. The, you know, it was glowing in my eyes. The red and blue mat was shimmering, and the fluorescent <laughs> lights, and all the happy faces. And thankfully, I became one of those happy faces in a few weeks. Now, flash forward to the present. I've learned so much here, and I want to share with you guys one of my biggest lessons, and that's about physical and mental strength. Um, when I tell people I'm a second-degree black belt, usually I get the customary, oh, wow, you must be super strong, and hey, do you think you can beat me up? And um, what's that other one? Like, oh, it must feel great defending yourself. And although all this is absolutely perfectly true, there is so much more to martial arts. And that's the mental strength and the character traits that we develop here. I hope most of you guys know what I'm talking about. As white belts, we come here completely blank slates with no character traits. I mean, good, really martial arts character skills and abilities and talents. We're just shapeless clay begging to be molded and formed into powerful black belts. And then, you know, come orange belt. You can probably do more push-ups and sit-ups than your peers. You're feeling pretty good about yourself but you still don't have that mental capacity and that mental tenacity. Then come Purple Belt, you kind of start feeling the union between your physical and mental strength. I always hear this voice, well, not like an actual voice in my head. <laughs> <laughs> always this question, do I quit or do I persevere? And we all hear that internally, may not notice it yet, whether you're doing, you know, your minute push-ups or you're trying to focus for those five extra minutes of class and you always hear that, do I quit or do I persevere? And then there's that one moment when you finally achieve that perfect marriage of physical and mental strength where your body just instantly reacts and does not hesitate but responds affirmatively. And you don't even have to think about do I quit or do I persevere anymore because you just know that you've actually won the championship and not of another opponent, not of yourself, but of your biggest opponent. And that is yourself because let's face it, we're all our fiercest challenges. And through martial arts, I've kind of learned to conquer not someone else, but myself. And that's definitely a lesson that I'm going to take on to the next chapter of my life. That's <coughs> college and the Air Force. And with these big looming things ahead of me, I'm not afraid to say that I'm pretty scared. But I just trust in Sensei. And, <coughs> and all that he's taught me. And he's just one of the greatest people that I have or will ever know. Just so generous and so giving, and I'm indebted to him in every way possible. And he's just one of those like good people who reminds you that there are good people in this world. And then there's no way I can't mention my senpais, like Senpai Kim, who has no idea how awesome she is or how much she's inspired me or how much I look up to her. We've laughed and we've fought and I just love her. And then there's Catherine who's like such an inspiration. She's here all the time just practicing and working. And if I could love something as much as she loves karate, half as much, if I could love karate, I love anything half as much as she loves karate, then I know that I'll find true happiness. And then there's Brian who's just like a living, breathing, walking, 
model of what commitment and determination and success is. And I have to thank all of you for making me into that person that I am today and that I could present to the world today. And then of course, as a senpai, it's always instructing kids. I just love my students, I love all you guys. There's no one I'd rather see after a long day of school behind me and um, a long day of homework in front of me than my little tiger tots and my little dragons. As a senpai, we all know that our students have taught us more than we could ever teach them. And we're just so thankful for you guys for just being who you are and allowing us to teach you and allowing us to be a motivator. And I hope that you guys remember me somewhere along the line as I remember Sensei and my other senpais. And then I have to thank you, my graduates, my fellow graduates, because you guys were just awesome through this whole process. And I'm going to miss each one of you guys dearly. And I want you guys to know that you're going to accomplish so much more than I have or ever will. Like, Stephen, you're going to be unstoppable one day. <laughs> and no, then, he um, is. Like, I see so much of myself in you. And for you to have so much potential and be so young, it's so scary. And I just hope you harness that. And Therese, like, don't even ask me to spar you in a few years. Because I won't be able to touch you. And I just want to thank everyone for like making this experience just so great for me. And I'm going to miss all of you so dearly, but it's not like I'm leaving because I'm taking karate with me. Didn't I say I wasn't going to crack it? <laughs> you told me that too, and I told her that. There goes the contact. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not leaving karate because it's a part of me and it's become less of a craft and less, I've, less of what I've done but like more of who I've become. And I'm always gonna take Marty Martial Arts Academy with me. But I just wanna say thank you and God bless all of you.